Welcome back to Hogwarts yeah, Legacy, and we speed. found all of the Demiguise moons. So we just got sent a mail, a letter from this guy over here, and he's going to explain to us about the Demiguise moons. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious Demiguise statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah. Well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much, even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguise statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. We just finished talking to Pierce Pemberton, the person who set up the Demiguise Moons, so let's go back to the caretaker and let him know what we found out. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the Demiguise statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Pierce Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. All right, well, here we go. We just found out who set up the Demiguise Moons against the Caretaker. Seems like they weren't we really friendly, but, you know, Gladwin kind of interpreted it wrong. But thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.